welcome to All Real Truth. PDX official. You can get this podcast on Anchor at Him, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts. As always, you can get me at Instagram, Beatzilla PDX, Twitter, Beatzilla PDX, Facebook, Beatzilla PDX, and if you need to get in contact or you have questions or even show topics, email me at ourrealtruth at gmail.com, ourrealtruth at gmail.com. So, Go ahead and start. So, um, I've done shows about this topic before, uh, but again, um, as things always transpire, we have to revisit things. Um, first, I want to, uh, I actually want to talk about an article I do not have on the screen, which is um, right here in the state of Oregon, uh, our state senator has proposed reparations for black Oregonians. Uh, this is not the first time that he's presented something like this. Uh, there was the Oregon Cares Act, which he presented. Uh, there were a few detractors of that particular bill, which that was uh, 67 million or 62 million. Somewhere around there. Uh, that was to be dispersed to black Oregonians. As it turns out, most of that went to state-funded programs. Um, so there is money available, but it did not go to uh, actual people as it was kind of speculated to say. However, this bill is much different. This bill proposes to, uh, for people who could prove their background, pr- pr- prove basically that they are a foundational black American from the state of Oregon for over 10 years, then they can get $132,000. I'm sorry, $123,000 per year and for the rest of that person's life. So this is going on the floor right now. Now, just to show you how... Uh, much opposition we have to this the only article on this is coming from out of state news uh, channels none of our local channels here have covered this story at all you can't even find it so if you google this story uh, you'll probably see uh, Atlanta Black Star um, even the New York Post has a did an article on it, but you won't see too much local news uh, in our area, to which um, Lou Fredericks, uh, our senator, our state senator, uh, represents uh, district of the city of Portland. So this would be significant Portland news. We have four major news outlets not one of them. So you got to understand, when we are up against things like this, we have no time to play games with each other. So the question is today, again I ask, how much do we really love ourselves? I've experienced some things on social media where it seems that people are more upset at the people who are saying tangibles 2020, tangibles no vote, no reparations, no vote. We mentioned that we expected Joe Biden and Kamala Harris not to do anything immediately for black people or not at all. Well, now it stands we're sitting about 30 executive orders passed 
legendary voice, which was the closest thing to give anything to black people. Nothing specifically for black people. Uh, but even that program has given them something. So, but a lot of other things happen. But one thing you do know is We ain't there So with that being said We need to start adopting the mindset Of getting behind people like Lou Frederick's uh, movement Of getting actual tangibles Versus seeing a bunch of cartoon pictures Of Obama's uh, Of the Obamas at the inauguration That's fine That's a great symbolic gesture uh, you guys are Obama fans. You got a, a great thing. However, your community cannot survive on pictures of Michelle Obama. Now, what you see on the screen, there's, there's a reason why I have a few of these pictures up here. The one up here in the left hand corner says white terrorism. And this is for people who are watching this on YouTube. For those who are listening, I will read this off. It says, white terrorism, a thing America ignores and refuses to treat like other terrorists. And we in the black community have been saying this for years. So none of this is new to us. So this whole storming of the Capitol, None of that was new for us. We knew that this was the climate of America. <laughs> it's no big surprise. It's just that the wool is off of everybody else's eyes. Because again, like I'll say before, these people aren't strangers who stormed the Capitol. They have family members. And their family members were well, well, well aware of their views. But it aids to the system that they know benefits them. You would have to be a fool to go against that, right? They figured it out. So what we want to do as black people amongst the black community now is to find some common ground. That's easier said than done. Unfortunately, I would look at it like this. What did our ancestors do that worked? What did our ancestors do that didn't work? At this point, we're just expecting something to come out of a politician system. Because uh, what happened again, I'm, I, I understand everybody's uh, exuberance with Kamala Harris. However, all you did was just elect another 78-year-old, well, actually the first 78-year-old white man to, presidents of, uh, to be president of the United States. So you went further back to like literally get somebody who was raised and trained up under a staunch segregate, uh, segregationist and also a Klan member. Grand Dragon. You think knowing that his, uh, say, apprentice was going to be a little more savvy in lawmaking that he wouldn't have probably taught him how to use the law on a subtle level, but still for the same objective? To me, that makes common sense. picture right under that sun. This picture shows Minister Lewis Farrakhan. Right under him is Joe Biden. In 2020, I have watched the majority of my people come to the defense of Joe Biden. The world attacked Farrakhan, lied on him, twisted his words, and nobody came to his defense. Ice Cube wanted to go 
do something for black people. So he went to talk to a person that you didn't like, Donald Trump, because he was in power at the time. Trying to leverage something for black people, because if you get something out of Trump, that means that the other side also has to offer you something. That's the political hustle. However, being the political children that uh, a lot of people have been led to sleep to, to be, Nobody saw it as a political tactic. They just saw it as Ice Cube selling out to a racist. And though he said over and over and over again how he did not support either candidate, the people just couldn't hear it. I ask again, how much do we love ourselves? We can wipe away the destruction of our own families to jump down our own family's throat today over the very same person who destroyed us to begin with. Joe Biden just didn't support the crime bill. He wrote it and he bragged on it. Everybody says, well, you go light on Trump. Trump's voter base is not the black community. The Democrats have always used the black community's votes to get their agendas done while black votes are being used. If you don't see how I'm looking out for your best benefit there, I don't know what's wrong with you. I'm trying to say here, they actually have something to give you. You're saying, nah, I don't want it, I just want them to be nice to you. Well, you could put them in a position to have to be nice to you if you got what they owed you. Which brings me to the picture in the middle. And unfortunately, there are a lot of our people that can relate and they won't admit that they have the same heart as that man you are looking at right there. For those who are listening, the person on the middle of the screen right now that I'm referring to is Steven from the movie Django. Yeah. So again, like I said, no one came to these people's defense. Nick Cannon tried to stand up for uh, Farrakhan. They chopped him down. Uh... Anybody who tried to step up and say, hey, man, we're going to try to defend our own. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, you know, black people should not be dictated to about who we support amongst our community from anyone outside. And most definitely you shouldn't be operating scared to fight against that. Nobody else gets that done to them. It shouldn't be done to us. Especially, we are in a class all by ourselves. That's a good thing, and that's a bad thing. One of the bad things about it is throughout everything we've been through is the, un the unfixed or even unaddressed trauma. It's now starting to get addressed within the last few years, but being a slave in this society and being totally subject to these people who still can't stop shedding blood in the street, what must life have been like for them? I mean, look at how people act now. <laughs> these people went to war to make sure that they didn't see you free. I mean, that's just the logistics of that. No, 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 no. And look right now. Something I want you to take uh, another thing that, like, when they say certain things, listen to the verbiage. So the, a lot of these people will mention uh, the term free Americans. Yeah, that, that doesn't mean you, black folk. Free Americans mean white Americans because they still look at you as property. 
Now there's a few reasons that go into that. But at the end of the day, they could still shoot you naturalized or not and get away with it. Um, <clears throat> the pushback between uh, the, say, the new, more, um, I hate to use the word conscious, but uh, the more aware community that is talking more action or truth to power, which is funny. I hear a lot of people complaining about what they're hearing. However, ignoring the actions that are being taken based off of what they're hearing. There's action, they're seeing change based on what they're hearing, so they're seeing it. I guess seeing isn't believing. Hey, that is what it is. And so we gotta understand, uh, they will throw a lot of things in our mix. Again, going back to my very first podcast, Great Expectations, The Art of Rat Mason. Throw everything at you, flashy lights. Now they know the entrance and the exit of the maze. Their objective is to make sure that you never get it. Okay. So, that being said, I may have to break this up in a couple of parts. But, we just gotta know that we cannot let these people go unchecked amongst us. So, the Stevens, when you see that uh, behavior, by all means, say something about it. Because again, we can't have unity taken out or taken out our own for other people outside of our. It's us first. It gotta be black first. And with that being said, this is just a real quick hit. Um, I'm gonna do a few more of these later, uh, but this is gonna be a few little pieces because I gotta piece this up, obviously the way I have to record it. But this is part one of this. Again, I ask, how much do we love ourselves? This is Beatzilla, PDX official. This is all real truth. Yes, indeedy. You can find me at Instagram, Beatzilla PDX official. Oh, I'm sorry, Beatzilla PDX. Twitter, Beatzilla PDX. At Facebook, Beatzilla PDX. And of course, at YouTube, at Beatzilla PDX official and if you feel so inclined you can always hit up the cash app dollar sign Beatzilla PDX um, Babylon is fallen Babylon is fallen until the next time y'all uh, part two coming soon so holler at 